Trans women are women. What are your thoughts? Trans women are trans women. That's not said disrespectfully because right. my era, we were transvestites, mm. drag queens, mm -hmm. you're a man in a dress. Mm. We fought to have the title of trans women. Respectfully, yeah. trans men are trans men. You that already know what it is. is. It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. A hey, TikTok, you up to bat. It's your boy Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we got to do. You got to hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water, man. You already know what it is. Elevate more in 2024. Elevate more in 2024. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos. We back. Hey, another scary TikTok conspiracy theory TikTok compilation joint. Make sure if you have any conspiracy theory any tiktoks y'all want me to check out send it to my instagram make sure y'all send it to my instagram also it's a tiktok account out there got like 300,000 uh followers that ain't me mine only got like 400 so i just had to put that out there but look make sure you stick around to the end this one's gonna be crazy also if you make it to the end of this one drop real one for real let's go ahead and get it fire squad What's poppin'? Let's get it. All I kept seeing, like, I just held this broken body. Hmm? <laughs> I just kept looking at him, looking at him. This is Amber with her husband Joshua. The couple met in the year 2010 and would become married within that same year. Okay. Joshua was in the Air Force, so as soon as the couple was married, they would move to Alaska where he was stationed. Shortly mm. after moving, Amber would become pregnant with their first child, and their life seemed to be heading in the right direction. Okay. Unfortunately, Josh would develop a drug problem and would be discharged from the military. Dang. So the couple would be forced to move to a high-rise apartment complex in Tulsa, Oklahoma. They would call the 25th floor of this building their home. Okay. I didn't just lose my husband. <laughs> Jeannie and Patrick lost their son. Zach lost his brother. This grandma, this poor grandma's gonna have a heart attack <laughs> when she finds oh. out that her, her little Josh is gone. She killed him. All I kept seeing, like, I just held his broken body. What? <laughs> Why did I push him the I just kept looking at him, looking at him. <laughs> Amber, I can't. I'm not saying that you're guilty. Listen to me. What I'm saying is is that there's a lot of things at stake that people are going to be doing their jobs. Patrick and them, you know they are going to come after you with everything they got. Did she kill him? Okay. You know that. So you've got to fight for that one. And you've got to fight for yourself. Two fights for jobs. He's in better peace. Listen to me. He's in God's. He's Amber. Amber. She did she kill him? Amber. He's in God's hands right now. He's not supposed to be. No, there. he's not supposed to be, but he's in God's hands. This isn't fair. Hold on, hold on, hold the fuck up. So you kill somebody and you consoling her and saying that he's in God's hands right now? What is going on? How we how we kicking this off? Like what are we doing here? <laughs> Joshua and Amber had a very toxic relationship and would spend quite a bit of time arguing with each other. Mm. These arguments would often become physical, and in one mm. particular episode, Amber would throw a lamp at Joshua's head, and he would require multiple stitches to seal the wound. Damn. Joshua obtained an emergency protective order, and in June of 2011, he packed his belongings, telling Amber he wanted a divorce. He getting out of there. She wasn't going when for they it. Come in. And they asked you, say, I don't want to say nothing until my attorney gets here. Do you understand? The detective's at the scene still, okay? They'll be one clear and all bit, and they'll come down here and, and talk to you. You know, that's just hang tight, okay? All right. Thank you. Okay. Why don't you? But doesn't that make me guilty? No, that makes the lawyer do his job. Did you kill a man? Because maybe they will bring everything in. 
But regardless, I'm going to jail. That doesn't mean we're just doing your rights. You just don't understand how things work. You just mm -hmm. don't say nothing until your attorney gets here. If you kill somebody, you're going to jail. Okay. So we're going to be here for like hours. Yeah, it'll probably be a long night. What? But you don't say nothing until your attorney gets here. When they, when they come in, just say, I don't want to say nothing until my attorney gets here. It was supposed to be a joke! It was just a joke! What? Here's how I get my partner to love me more. I've been slowly adding salt to our Brita filter. Oh, I just got a call that my partner is in the hospital. My partner is still in the hospital. They still don't know what's wrong. Posted the same day. Let me see. Wish I had better news, but things have taken a turn for the worse. My partner has been moved to the ICU. Posted the same day. One of the best days I've had in a long time. What? Hell nah. Hell nah. Is this company trying to free the devil? I know this sounds crazy, but CERN is a company that is heavily funded and claims that their work helps uncover what the universe is made out of. And Why did he just grab a plate of chicken and biscuits? <laughs> how it works. Basically giving us a better understanding on how the Big Bang happened and how our universe was created. Okay. But there's some things that truly scare me. For one, did the company go out of their way to build a facility on where the devil himself lives and sits on his throne? You see in the mm -hmm. Bible, in Revelation chapter 2, verse 13, mm -hmm. Jesus says Satan's throne is in the same city in which Saint Antipas was unalived. Biblical researchers found that Saint Antipas's life was taken under Emperor Nero in a city called Lyon, which is known mm -hmm. today as Geneva, Switzerland. That's exactly where CERN so happened to have built their company's facility and campus. If you pay attention to CERN's logo, it strangely has three sixes, and you know exactly what that means. Elon Musk himself calls CERN's technology demonic. Oh, and if that's not weird enough for you, they have a statue on their campus of the god Sheba, which is known what? as the Destroyer. One night, someone actually filmed a group of people who worked at CERN performing a human sacrifice in front of the campus's Sheba statue. What? What? Somebody recorded a, a what? A human sacrifice, what? <laughs> Bruh, what? Ain't no way. <laughs> what the f <laughs> Y'all let me know if this shit real or not, man. In the comments, y'all, I be leaning on y'all. Is this real or not? This can't be real. This is crazy. What the? She laying down? What the hell? When asked about it in an interview, a spokesperson for CERN said that it was only a prank and that no one was actually harmed. Yeah, sure. A prank. Ha ha. Ha. Huh. How do you get caught doing something weird and then go, guys, relax. It's, it's a prank, bro. Anyways, they have a machine called the Hydron Collider, the largest and most powerful particle accelerator ever built. Mm. It has only had two runs in its lifetime. Some people believe that this machine is actually a portal to another dimension and that their plan is to work and find a way to release the devil himself out of hell, Ew, which would bro. not only release him, but a bunch of demons down there as well. Now there is some science to this because it creates incredibly high energy collisions with particles, which can theoretically open up a portal or tear the fabric of space time. Now there's no exact scientific proof of this, but who knows? Now let's say none of this is true. There are other concerns concerning CERN. Try saying that 10 times fast. A genius and protege coined the name one of the world's smartest kids who also created a free energy machine at the age of only 13 has wow. warned us and said that he believes that CERN's experiments are threatening to break the fabric of our existence and they have already moved us to a parallel reality that is similar to our own. If there are other universes they're next to ours and this actually relates to uh, my theory of the Mandela effect and how the particle accelerator altered the weight of one electron and therefore destroyed our universe. 
universe and shifted us into the universe that's directly next to it, and therefore things are different in this universe. What? Have you ever woke up and felt things were a little off? Something's a little different? You're not where you belong? Or maybe you remember Pikachu having black at the tip of his tail. The Monopoly man having a monocle. Or that there was a Boots popsicle. Even though they claim one never existed. Well, maybe we're not tripping. Maybe we're not in our original reality. I mean, a man has supposedly caught a video of the Berenstein Bears book slowly transitioning into a parallel universe and becoming Berenstain Bears. This just creeps me out, man. What? I don't even like to be in this room anymore when I sleep in here. I mean, look at that. That sh is changing. Right what? there. It's changing. What? Right there. I mean, who knows? The Mandela effect could possibly be the aftermath of CERN doing. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Do y'all believe in different dimensions and different portals and stuff like that? Y'all let me know these so-called experiments. Why can't they move me to a reality where there's no bills, no rent? This earth is ghetto. I mean, we got good chicken though. We got some good chicken. By the way, comment one Mandela effect that you found out or remember. Now you may think this is all a bunch of malarkey, but there's been experts in the science community who have actually came out and warned us of the same thing the kid did. They're saying CERN running these experiments could create a black hole that would devour our world. Damn, that is crazy. A black hole that could devour the world? Francis Caligero, a nuclear physicist who was co-winner of a Nobel Peace Prize, published an article titled, Might a Laboratory Experiment Destroy Planet Earth? The essay mm. sparked a series of debates that were never ending and lasted years. People all over the world was concerned that CERN might destroy us all. Okay, portals to hell, switching realities, creating black holes. There can't possibly be any more concerns, right? Sadly, there are. I'm just as shocked as you. Now, you know I said that people believe that CERN is opening portals to different realities or a different mm -hmm. dimension, maybe even different worlds. People believe that this is where these beings called reptilians or what we see as aliens are coming from. They're not traveling billions and billions of light years of space to get here. CERN is just inviting them through their front door. I mean, there's hundreds of species that have said to be walking amongst us today. Pladianos, the greys, the Arcterianos. That many species can't be traveling through space to hit Earth. Someone has even claimed to have footage of one of these species. Like an eight foot person beside it. And another one's inside and it has big eyes and look at it. And it's still there. Okay, where is this on your property? Uh, uh, in my backyard. I swear to God, this is not a dope. This is actually we so just terrified of it. So there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard? Correct, and they're very large. Calm down, y'all. That's just my ex. She loves nature. All honesty, I can't tell if that video is real or CGI. It's just too realistic with the muscles in the back and everything. Mm. But what do you guys think? Should we be worried about CERN? Or is this just one big conspiracy? I don't know what to believe anymore. Make sure to hit that follow, because part two, it's going to get crazy. And you don't want to miss it. That shit sound crazy. Aliens that may or may not lead you down a rabbit hole. This one says that aliens are not extraterrestrial beings, but are rather inter or extra dimensional beings that are already mm. on Earth. We just can't experience them because they're on a whole other wave. Mm. Reported sightings and abductions can be explained through glitches in the matrix or those that have experienced them are just on a different level of consciousness. So some people mm. have this idea that aliens are superior to us. This is amplified like in movies, for example, but what if they're just as technologically advanced as us or even less so? Like, what if they just don't have the technology to come visit us, their version of aliens? Maybe they're in the same boat as us. Just food for thought. Kind of mm. in contrast to this, if they did have the technology to come visit us, wouldn't they be able to also disguise themselves? Maybe as our doppelgangers? Or maybe they've already visited us and they just weren't impressed enough to investigate <laughs> right. any further. Right, they like, nah, them, they just regular, they ain't. They killing each other. You know, it's even more weird is if you take a picture of a $1 bill on the back. It looks like an alien. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, you actually, well, you turn the, you turn the contrast all the way up. And yeah, the contrast reveals an alien head and the face, the eyes, everything. It's kind of, it's kind of genius. That's crazy. What's in your pocket? Yeah. Roswell. That's crazy. I don't know if that's real or not, though. There were supposedly seven to ten foot aliens at Miami Mall, bro. And no one got a video? Bro, there's videos going around. You could see something like walking, but it could be fake, though. They could be CGI. It could but be fake. I guess police came to the scene saying that. Or it could be the Blue Beam. I think that's the name of it. The Blue Beam Project or something like that. 
there was a, a riot that kids was like having a brawl and they were shooting fireworks and shit. Yeah. But there's footage of all the cops and I'm telling you like the cop cars, there's at least a hundred cop cars. More. Why is there a hundred cop cars if it's just teenagers? And then some guy posted on TikTok saying that there was tall aliens that was in like cloaking suits like in Predator and he says they was like walking around they said they came out of a portal that happened in the mall and if you put the coordinates of that mall like backwards it goes right to Antarctica you know Antarctica that's where they say the aliens and that's where the government's trying to hide mm. it was a weird coincidence said and then the cops made a video after the guy came out saying like there was no seven to ten foot tall aliens like it was just teenagers but then during that time the police scanners went down so there was no connection and like they shut down the airways so like nobody could fly over miami mm. yep and then after that they said sixty thousand homes in miami lost power so i'm not saying there were aliens but i'm saying that there was aliens that it could be a stretch but there's too many people that are saying it's real i don't know that was a big thing they are taking this down like crazy. Watch. Look what they're researching. I'm not allowed to have a camera in here, and I had to put it in a very uncomfortable place to sneak it in here. I'm inside of a top secret government research facility. Oh, shit. You see the grates in the floors, there are grates in the ceilings. What these grates are for, they move air in very quickly, fresh air. From what the would they need that for? And they take it up to the roof, they pump it back out outside after it's filtered, because without it, the air in here Share is this. contaminated very quickly but mm. if you still think they don't exist why would they have research yep exactly wow so they pumping air to keep water alive you will not believe this insane plot twist in 2008 carolyn watson and julian butchwald were a young religious couple they were living in melbourne australia and had been together around two years Julian was driving the pair to a picnic day in the car, but he actually stopped the car suddenly, noticing an animal on the side of the road. Suddenly, something horrific happened. Carolyn's vision went completely black after what? being blindfolded by a terrifying masked man. All she could work out was she was being stripped off and thrown into a vehicle. The car finally stopped and she took her blindfold off and she was really relieved to see that her boyfriend was by her side. He'd also mm. been stripped off and the couple were completely in the middle of nowhere. The pair managed to untie themselves, but were having to just wander around aimlessly for a week, trying to find safety. A week? Meanwhile, police were desperately searching for the couple. Family and friends were really concerned and they knew how out of character this was for the pair to go missing. Mm. They sent out air and water search teams, but just couldn't locate the couple. As the missing pair were very religious, they'd actually vowed to be celibate until marriage, but Julian started to suggest that it might be a good idea to break this celibacy in order to Whoa. keep them warm. Finally, a local Whoa. farmer found the couple and alerted police. However, they quickly found that the story didn't really add up. Julian soon confessed to police that he'd actually made the whole thing up and he'd staged the what? kidnapping. His motive was purely to try and get his girlfriend to break their vow of celibacy. What? What? This nigga, he did all that to get some. Oh, hell no! Come on, man. Come on. There is no tire there. All right. Lady arrested for killing son. There's oh, what? Blood all over the car. Violation. I have a broken windshield. And I missing a tire because some kids were shooting at my car at some what well, looks like blood in there and it's not blood it's deer meat i had a big bag of, and there's a farm around here that does deer meat and hamburgers so. shotgun shells all over this yeah holy shit. we got a body oh, yeah. all right let's cover it yep. it's a body in there she's talking about deer meat Stop. you are yeah i want to give her the oh, she, she, thinks, okay. she can manipulate well, the police. You're yes. uh, exercising yes. stuff. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, so the reason why we stayed in town was because the plan was we were going to get both of our families. That's why. I, oh, oh, what? Okay, so the plan was that we were both going to get both of our families. But first, we got my grandparents. Then that's why we went over to Johnny's house. And we attacked his sister and her boyfriend because we were, he wanted to kill his family. Okay. So that's yeah. like, we stayed in town for a couple of days because, you know, we wanted to get some money. We wanted to get ready to leave. And then that plan, just going over to his house, kind of just like, it didn't work out at all. It, it just went, it went downhill from there. No, there seems to be a pretty big gap. Yeah. Still, though, between your grandparents and then attacking. She got a fucking cappuccino? <laughs> what? 
his sister and the boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Was that kind of in the plan? Yeah. To well, try to get away with it for the week and then yeah, kill I, them? Well, we weren't really like going on like a week thing or kind of just like a day to day kind of thing. Like, what are we going to do today? Sort of thing. But I mean, we wanted to get out of town as soon as possible. Okay. But just how it all just kind of timed out. Thank you so much. Chicken Did nuggets. Really, like, <sighs> It just, I don't know, it didn't really work out as we planned it to be. Okay. So. So there was no, so you guys basically stayed in town after your grandparents because the plan was then to kill Johnny's family and maybe get some more money? Yes. Okay. And it wasn't like a set schedule on Saturday at 5.55 p.m. we're gonna go kill him, but more of a day-to-day -day thing? Yeah, I mean like, you know, we were, we were just planning on doing it at night mainly. Okay. So, so what made you guys pick that night that you did it? And not any of the other nights before. Was anybody going to be at the house that shouldn't have been? Or were you waiting on someone in particular to be there with them? Who's in Johnny's family? Do you got a mom and a dad? Just a mom, two sisters, and that's it. Okay. And, uh, yeah, we were, we were really, like, planning on, like, what time. We were just kind of, like, just going how it went, I guess. Mm -hmm. Just seeing how it would go, and then it, it just kind of, like, really downhill from there. Okay. Um, with the bear spray and everything, the baseball bat. The what spray? We had, like, bear repellent that we bought from Bass Pro Shop. The man in this photo is one of the worst sexual offenders in the history of Ohio. Look at this This guy. man's name was Brian Peppers. For years, this photograph circulated on the internet attached to his story of sexual abuse, and nobody believed that it was yeah. real. But some fact-checking was eventually done, and yes, Brian Peppers was a real man with a real peppered past. So, Brian was born with something called Cruzon Syndrome. And when Brian was younger, he was bullied incessantly by people in his school. Mm. So, as Brian grew older over the years, his body quickly began to grow weaker, mm. and eventually his mental health deteriorated to such a point that he had to be checked into a nursing home. Wow. But it was in the year 1998 when Brian was arrested and convicted of molesting somebody. According to the report, he actually sexually abused the nurse that was taking care of him in the nursing home. Wow. Brian was then removed from the nursing home, he spent 30 days in jail, and he was on probation for five years. After this incident, Brian was on the sex offenders registry in Ohio up until his death. Mm. When he died, Brian Peppers was only 4 foot 1 inches tall and he passed away on February 7th, 2012. Mm. Which, eerily enough, is the day that I'm posting this TikTok, and I didn't even realize it until I read that just now. What? He was only four feet? Going this 19-year-old TikToker was murdered while filming a TikTok video. This is 19-year-old Anaya Womack, Jeez. a woman from Jacksonville, Florida. Anaya was really active on her TikTok and her Instagram, and she really wanted to grow her following. In May of 2023, Anaya was brought to a hospital and dropped off with a gunshot wound in her stomach. Damn. After she was dropped off and left there, she died. And 135 days later, the story finally began to unfold. Mm. So Anaya's family had fought tooth and nail for justice for answers. They just had no idea what had happened to her. I mean, how did she end up with that gunshot wound? Who drove her to the hospital? Mm. Well, eventually Mariah J. Clayton, a 20-year-old friend of Anaya's, was arrested. So at first, Mariah and the man she was with claimed that they were driving down the street when they somehow stumbled across Anaya and decided to help her out and bring her to the hospital. Wow. But obviously the police weren't buying that, and the man eventually broke down and told the police that he had gone over to an apartment complex to purchase marijuana, and that's where he and Mariah had found Anaya with a gunshot wound. Mm. They claimed that once they got to this apartment, Anaya told them that she had shot herself and she needed a ride to the hospital. What? But when police started interviewing people who were present at that apartment on the night of this shooting, a whole different story began to emerge. Apparently, that night, Anaya and Mariah had been in the bathroom in the apartment filming TikTok videos. And one witness stated that when they went into the bathroom, they saw Mariah holding a large black rifle, waving it what? around. All while Anaya was filming her for her TikTok. 
So at one point, this male witness said that a man entered the room. He said they needed to be careful with the rifle. They shouldn't mm. be playing with a gun. And he tried to take it from Mariah. Jeez. But Mariah allegedly said, I need to check something first. She pulled away with the rifle in her hand and it accidentally discharged, shooting Anaya in the stomach. Dang. And what it seems like allegedly happened is that Mariah and the others that were in the apartment then clamored and tried to hide all of the evidence. And they were the ones that ended up driving Anaya to the hospital later on. Dang. But they didn't stick around to tell investigators or anybody who they were. Wow. And obviously they hadn't been truthful about what really happened that night the entire time. I'm eager to see how this case turns out, and I just hope that Anaya gets the justice that she deserves. Man, can't be playing with no guns and stuff, bro. Come on, man. Imagine going to work one morning and finding two dead bodies in a bin. Crystal what? Jackson and Brittany Cosby were a 24-year-old couple from Texas. The women had been in a relationship for two years and shared a home together. On the morning of the 7th of March 2014, Port Bolivar was shook by the horrific news that the pair had been found murdered. An unsuspecting mm. delivery driver made the discovery while working that morning and rang police. He stated that the bodies were in a bin next to a convenience store. When mm. the officers responded to the scene, they found one of the women had been bludgeoned to death and one had been shot. Initially, police weren't actually able to identify the women due to them having no ID on them. Mm. They could tell, though, that they had been murdered and then transported to that location. There was no blood spatter at the scene, but they did find tire tracks. Officers mm. theorized that they had been murdered and then driven there and dumped. Investigators scoured the local area and found a check with the name Brittany Cosby on it and a Houston address. They headed to the address where they were met by James Larry Crosby. They discovered one of the victims, Brittany, was his daughter. He was able to what? tell police that from the photos, it looked like the other victim was her girlfriend, Crystal. Officers questioned him about what he might know, and it came to light that there may have been some issues with the family dynamic. Brittany's girlfriend, mm. Crystal, had apparently been having a hard time with her dad, who was a pastor. Due to being a lesbian, James said that Crystal had been shunned by her own dad, Ivan. This raised questions about whether Ivan may have no. had a motive for the murder. No, However, the police then figured out that he actually had a solid alibi, so they were back to the drawing board. Okay. A witness had seen a male driving a silver Kia Sorento on the evening of March the 6th. Interestingly, this matched the description of Britney's car, which was actually missing. The mm. man driving was apparently in a car with two females who matched the description of Brittany and Crystal. Mm. Officers then also discovered a bloody fingerprint near where the bodies were found. They sent the blood off to be tested and it came back as Larry's. They decided to search his home and they discovered the blood of Larry, Brittany and Crystal all throughout the house. What? He was arrested and charged with tampering with evidence. Interestingly, Larry actually had a criminal past and he had prior convictions for SA, weapons charges, assault and bodily injury. Damn. Brittany's mum then came out to say that Larry had had trouble accepting his daughter's sexuality. A month mm. later, Brittany's car was discovered. It had been towed after being found abandoned at Ritz Cabaret along the Gulf Freeway. Inside blood was found belonging to the two victims. Wow. Larry was finally charged with murder and the case went to trial. He was eventually sentenced to life in prison. He killed them? He killed his daughter in the oh. topic of polygamy is big in the black community. She captured a murder on a live stream. What the f is going on in my building? Uh uh. Why does it sound like gunshots in the f building? You better get down. King, go in the room. In November of 2017, this woman, Tamika Baxter, was live streaming on Facebook. It was about 2.30 in the morning she was talking to some people on live when she heard what sounded like gunshots echoing from the hallway in her apartment complex. Mm -mm. In the rest of the video, which I'm going to show at the end of this TikTok, she went to investigate the scene and saw a man lying on the ground and heard a woman screaming for help and to dial 911. Wow. As it turns out, the victim that evening who did indeed die was 18-year-old Jashin Jeez. Patton. Jashin was a promising athlete from the Philadelphia area. He had really great sports stats, he was a rising star, and after his death, people claimed that he just had that it factor. He was going to mm. be somebody big. But on that evening, Jashin had just found out that he was getting accepted into a good college. Wow. And his relative, his relative's boyfriend, and another woman were celebrating in their apartment with beer. There were also two young children in the apartment when all of this went down. Mm. At one point in the evening, though, tensions began to rise in the apartment, and like I said, at around 2.30 a.m., gunshots rang out. Those gunshots were fired by this man. 
30-year-old Derek L. Butler, who was later arrested for the murder of Josh and Pat. He looked like a Eventually, hater. Derek was arrested. Like I said before, he had initially fled the scene and he was actually on the run for a while. But at one point in 2019, he was sentenced to 25 years in prison, possibly more for the murder of Josh mm. So I'm going to play you the clip from the rest of this live stream now. It's pretty disturbing, so I'm going to warn you in advance. Come here. Go in the room. Please, please, go in the room. Please, what the f was that? 18 year old Yo. dude, man, that's crazy. Just found out he was going to college. Is my neighbors fighting? She went outside with the gunshot. It sounded like gunshots in my building. I wouldn't be going out there. That's my neighbors, y'all. I would not be out there. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Them gunshots, I'm hitting the I floor. think the music is up and I think they're fighting. Oh my God, they're fighting in there. You gotta get your... Look. Should I knock on the door? Should I knock... Should I knock on the door? Oh my God, they're fighting. Oh my God, they're fighting. Call 911. Call 911. He's saying call 911. Call him. You heard gunshots. What do you mean? Door? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Everyone does not include us in their part. Everyone does not include us in everything that they do. There has to be a point of division in order for us to separate and then unite among the like-minded of our people. So let's make this very clear. When we say we want to call people out, let's make this all the way clear. Everyone knows who is real and who is not. Because there are some of us who are banned from every damn way because of how absolutely legitimate we are. So when you want to call people out first, they must be pointed out. We cannot unite with slave makers, slave owners, traders, turncoats, nor collaborators. It ain't gonna happen like that. Too many of us are black people with white minds. And so when you put people in front who say they speak for us, but at this point it is 2022 going into 2023, and we are still in the same position, if not a little backward, from where we were when it comes to our overall progress, I call conspiracy. Now, before anyone says conspiracy theory, conspiracy means when two or more groups, organizations, or individuals come together to do something that is evil and or wicked. It is an absolute conspiracy. You have too many black billionaires and millionaires who do not fund projects for black grassroots organizations to come up out of the condition that we are in. Too many people chasing the bag, but you don't get no damn respect because you sacrificed your people to be That's included right. to somebody else's group. Right. Mm. So, let's stop the nonsense. Cut the cap. Yeah. Yeah. In the game. This generation ain't playing with this no more. I want us to all understand this. There is a separation here. That's the commercialized right. talking, everyone wants to be soft and talk soft. The enemy doesn't give a damn about nothing you call yourself. You can call yourself a Moor, Hebrew Israelite, you can say Black, you can say FBA, all of that. We are considered <laughs> to them. That is the very plain, <laughs> simple reality. If you are a black millionaire, but you can't speak the truth, you are nothing but a rich slave. That's right. And I will never trade my place with someone who has a lot of money, but no respect for my own people. That's right. Too many of us get comfortable once we get a check and we forget where we came from. Mm. Right. And you don't want to even go back around your people because you feel like we're not even worth being around. That's right. So at this point, again, this is a nice stage, a wonderful event, but knock it off. Those who are really about this, be about it. So that the enemy can say, you know what, we need to stop playing with these people That's and right. give them their real respect. Trans women are women. What are your thoughts? Trans women are trans women. That's not said disrespectfully because right. my era, we were transvestites, mm -hmm. drag queens, mm -hmm. you're a man in a dress. Mm -hmm. We fought to have the title of trans women. Respectfully, trans yeah. men are trans men. Mm -hmm. That is not even a disrespect. It's this younger, new generation, Z crazy, that it's not enough for. But let me just break something down to y'all real simple. Uh, if a woman is a social construct and we're emulating women, what would that make us? Mm -hmm. Social construction workers? <laughs> 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 to be truthful and if biological women stop having sex if biological women stop having babies okay. it won't be no more black white lgbt fat funny looking or nothing else i know y'all ain't gonna like the way i put it to you in the box but when you find the last stop me because i have relationships with trans men that they identify as men but they're biologically women they think that oh flame you just pandering for the women no i know what a woman is woman is mother earth we all yes. came through the birth canal of a woman mm -hmm. all female impersonators transgender sex change whatever you did not learn how to be a female
female or act like a female watching somebody like you in a suit and tie. That's a fact. You learn from the woman that raised you, whether it be your mother, your auntie, your stepmother, whomever. But then when I get so comfortable in my gay or my transgender or whatever I decide to become, whatever's instilled in me, I'm better than you? No, I'm not better than you. You're still my sister. Wow. But I'm better than you now? That is the problem. We keep trying to dismiss women. You cannot dismiss mm. a woman. You're right. Life or compete. Stop. That's a fact. That is a fact. So masculinity is a problem because it is a condition where you will fight back, which is the number one thing that they never wanted. Where mm. there are masculine men, there are safer environments. And what Ooh. do I mean? This whole toxic masculinity farce that people try to toss out here. The term toxic masculinity came from two Caucasian men. There we go again. Shepard Bliss and Robert J. Stoller. Number two, if that term came out and then it became overshadowing of what masculinity is, it blurs the lines of what masculinity is and what it is not. So now what people perceive in the comments what is toxic masculinity to you list me three things that you think is applied to toxic masculinity list three i'm gonna go through the comments let's go as masculinity is putting their hands on a woman that's masculine no that's not what masculinity is masculinity mm. would prevent a man from putting his hands right. on his woman. masculinity right. protects the community masculinity right. raises and respects children masculinity right. secures women masculinity right. makes it to where you're not gonna step over here and not get checked right if you don't operate properly right. that's what masculinity is toxicity is the opposite of masculinity you can't even put those together because mm. the other thing is you knew it was an agenda because you never hear people talk about toxic femininity but it's always toxic masculine why because the agenda is to make the man weak because if you have weak men you have women who are not going to be able to be protected so if they don't have their security we will be able to take control of them it is the same tactic in a new package in this generation where they are looking at make sure we are able to destroy them slowly but surely and make sure they don't have any men to protect them even though women can protect themselves they shouldn't have to mm. that was heavy that was heavy about it since you have to live this mm -hmm. there's a band list yes put out by the government correct the president literally 12 names mm. a these people are problematic correct do something with them put them in the laundry <laughs> room <laughs> right absolutely so you're on this list along with who robert f kennedy oh, wow. jr dr sherry tenpenny dr rashid batar notice how i'm saying doctor Mm -hmm. These wow. are all professionals, <laughs> heavy professionals, mm. um, and roughly eight others. And these are the people who they said collectively we have influence of roughly 65 to 70 percent of influence across the entire Internet on the planet as it pertains to the virus and the injections. Who, wow. uh, who put you on this list? The United States government, literally. Oh, it was <laughs> like an individual... No, no, they looked at the influence of each individual person, and they said, mm. uh, they, they, said they analyzed over 812,000 posts between mm. Facebook and Instagram, and they said the top names of influence that are getting the most interaction, the most likes, et cetera, shares, happen to be myself and 11 others. So they mm. said these 12 people are the most dangerous across the Internet. You know, they mm. call us the disinformation dozen. And mind you, this came out, I believe, uh, early last year, February, March of 2021. And so far, virtually every single thing that we have said was going to happen has happened. Wow. So that's why. Our country is going to have to have a revolution to fix it. Yeah. It's not going to fix itself. The government has everybody fighting everybody. The left fights the right. And you mm -hmm. know, you bring most people together. They want the same exact thing. Most people. Yeah. Very few people don't. They will fight about it because the government teaches us to fight about it. So white mm -hmm. people and black people and Mexican people and Asian people, we all got to hate each other, according to the government. Right. Everybody hates everybody. I don't hate anybody. That, that's got nothing to do with it. And, I, and the people I know don't hate anybody either. It's just mm -hmm. the government telling you. And what they do is they take the lowest income people and they're able to create the hate in those people because those people People are so busy doing nothing that they can dwell and sit in that funk that makes them negative people. And mm. the other people that go out and work every day, we ain't got time for that stuff. I ain't got time to sit and worry about hate Nick. You know, I ain't got time for that crap. I just need to go out and make a living. I ain't gonna make some money. I need to feed my family. I need to save up for my mm. kids. I need to prepare for what's coming in the future. I right. don't have time to worry about hating everybody. I just need to get by. Who we all should hate is the government. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Hey, he said absolutely. The government silenced this pharmacist and here's why. Brandy Vaughn quit being a pharmacist when she realized what drugs and vaccines truly did to people. She spent mm. the rest of her life trying to make the world a better place by exposing the truth and made a whole website doing so. But although she had great intentions, she faced a lot of criticism. 
what are your credentials as a researcher, so, Brandy? This is a very simple question. You turn what are your credentials yeah. as a researcher? Are you going to let me speak? Are you gonna well, let me I, speak? I've asked you like four afraid. times. Only a couple of years into exposing the truth, the wow. government caught up to her. In December of last year, she was pronounced dead due to natural causes leaving behind her five-year-old son. She Damn. knew that exposing the truth was going to be very risky, so literally a year before she passed away, she posted this. If you want to see a full detailed video about Brandy Vaughn, be sure to hit subscribe and turn on post notifications so you will not miss out on that video. I'm among a lot of people who are probably called crazy as much as I am. And that's awesome, because you know what? We are crazy. We are crazy enough to think that we can change the world. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Is my job as prime minister is to keep people alive and keep people safe and keep um just a little correction there no your job is not actually to keep people alive your job is to essentially treat our country like it is a business you're supposed to make a budget that doesn't mm. balance itself but make a budget and find out where your expenses are and to see where you can spend that money accordingly and how to grow this country to make it profitable and to protect it against any threats and whatever make big decisions like that i know it's a big job for you to do considering your degree in drama but no your job is not to protect us or keep us alive or whatever it is wow. to for those doctors and nurses paramedics the firefighters the police officers anybody in the medical profession is actually the ones that are trained to keep us alive. That's real. Not the Prime Minister. Wow. Next. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for what being the hell so the government dumb. Is forcing everyone what? to get vaccinated. Oh, here we go. They used our artists, they used our rappers, they used our TikTokers. The White House set aside a budget just for people on TikTok and Instagram to try to enslave those wow. among our younger generation who y'all call millennials to say, hey, it's cool, it's lit, it's dope to get a shot. They offered us weed. That got some of y'all. They offered shrimp dinners. They even offered some people in prison conjugal visits. Oh, they mm. so evil. Wow. No, they didn't do that to the people locked up. Does anybody recognize this man from Long Beach? Because he's been standing outside of my good friend's elderly mother's dry cleaning business in Long Beach for the last three days trying to get a reaction out of her to use as content. And that's mm -hmm. how I found out about these First Amendment frauditors who go around harassing the elderly, Asian, people of color, women, immigrants, and then record them in public spaces without their consent to try to get a reaction out of them and then post them online to what? try to gain clout and money. So for those of you who are not aware, there are these people called First Amendment auditors who go around exercising their First Amendment rights by recording police and public officials to try to hold them accountable. But then there are people out there like Silence Boy First Amendment who claim that they're there to film the police. But in actuality, they go around harassing everyday people. And if you look through his content, you can clearly see that the majority of his targets are women, people of color, and he loves targeting Asian people, specifically the elderly. For instance, in this video, he just goes up to this random Asian man who's just minding his business, cleaning out his car, doesn't even bother saying a word to the man that he's filming, even as the man comes up and calmly asks him what he's doing. And when he doesn't answer him, the Asian man turns around and then he decides to go and film the man's license plate, even wow. though he hasn't even done anything, and then goes on to post it. You see him zooming in on it? The Asian man just ignores him and goes back to cleaning his car. And then when the Asian man's wife comes out, notice him zooming in on her like he's trying to catch Kim Kardashian on film. But notice how uncomfortable she is when she notices that he's filming her and continues to harass him as he try to leave. Or this video taking outside of a store in Koreatown where he's taking photos of cars that are coming out of the parking lot and taking photos of their license plates of random people. And obviously because he's creeping out the customers, the manager comes out and asks right. him what he's doing to which point the man doesn't even respond to him and just shoes him off with his finger. What? Oh, and a big piece of context, this is exactly how he was dressed as he was standing there taking photos of people's license plates on their cars and then interacting with the people on property. I mean, is that a fake bulletproof vest? In this video, uh -huh. he's in the Larchmont area, which is near Hollywood, which is not an Asian area, walks through a crowd of people to single out a table full of Asian women to harass them. And when these women are rightfully creeped out, they try to wave over the waitress and listen to what he says to her. What are you doing? Stay back off. Don't get doing? near my bubble, dude, okay? 
even mm -hmm. when people try to just shut them out, look how intrusive he gets and literally tries to look through the cracks. What? He'll even go up and harass an older Latina street vendor just trying to make a living, harassing her in Spanish, by the way. And when she tries to get around him and does this. <laughs> This is how he reacts and watch what he does. I got assaulted by a lady. What I got assaulted. I was filming on the sidewalk and she saw that she turned and hit my hand. Are you okay? Yeah. You I got it on video. Okay. Do you need the ambulance or anything? No. Do you need the then ambulance? some other two guys wanted to fight me. Okay. What would you like to happen? You want a private person's arrest? Could that be done? That could be done, but you're going to be the one going to court. You place them in the arrest, okay? So tell me real quick what happened. I was filming on the sidewalk, uh, filming that, that specific person because you could do that, that's public. Yeah, of course. She comes out to my camera and smacks my hand. What, what was her reasoning? Because I was filming there. Okay. You have every right to film, but you don't have no she right. she ask you not to film or anything on it? No. She, she just came up to you? She he yeah. Okay. He lying. Yep. He sure did, and now she's having to pack up her whole day, having to throw out everything that wow. she prepared for that day to try to sell to make a living, and wow. yup, insists that she gets what? arrested for assaulting him. What? Oh yeah, listen to what he says to this woman, her friend, right here. Whoa. And when he got backlash because everyone was angry at him, especially his own community, listen to what he had to say. I knew there was gonna be a lot of people in this life. Why is there a lot of haters though? I just go outside what? to film. There's a lot of haters. You got a lot. But they up. still keep watching my continent. Content. Everyone. So people think I'm gonna stop recording. No, no, no. I'm gonna keep on filming. I didn't do oh, anything wrong. My continent. One of the times he does target the police to harass him, this funny interaction actually happened. My content. Hey, Richard Aguirre. Richard Garcia. You're the Aguirre. fucking tyrant, huh? Richard you're Aguirre. Huh? You're a motherfucker. Aguirre. You're fucking bald fucker. Why would they give me a ticket? But he's gonna pay back. All right, Richard Aguirre. All right, I'm gonna get him back. You're using your horse as a weapon now hey, to Richard, attack me? Are you still living with your mommy? You're oh. still, you're if you do encounter one of these First Amendment fraudsters who just come up to you and start filming you in public spaces harassing you, and make sure you tell the elderly people in your life, because like most horrible people, they like to target elderly people. Mm. But if you do come across one, don't engage, don't even make eye contact, do not give them any reaction whatsoever, because that's what they want from you, and definitely don't react like this. Hardworking white guys, you fucking lazy fucking Mexicans. And if one of them Ooh. targets you, your family, your friends, or anyone you know, have them take out their phone, put the volume all the way up as high as it goes, and have them play a very popular song that's most likely copyrighted. Because they won't be able to use the audio because mm. YouTube will strike them for copyrighted content. And right. especially if you have not reacted and you come across a video with you on it anyway by one of these people, make sure you go to YouTube and report the video. Because First Amendment laws only apply to the government and YouTube has their own privacy rules. And that includes that as long as you're not doing something newsworthy that includes a very negative reaction they do not have your consent to use your image or your voice mm. so please stay safe out there and if any of you know who this man is who's been standing outside of my friend's elderly mom's place of business for almost three days now please let me know that's some crazy shit bro that's some crazy shit we're how many bombs in we're how many lives lost in <laughs> More than 7,000 people died already. More. Mm. There's not even talking about the people under the rubble that they haven't fucking found. That's two times, getting to three times the amount of people who died in 9-11. And people mm. don't give a fuck because it's on the other side of the country, on the other side of the world. You don't give a fuck because mm. they're not in your community. You don't give a fuck. How can you not give a fuck? These are families being mm. completely wiped off registries. Generations completely mm. being wiped out. I don't know how you can't imagine if that was your family in that situation. When I was in Los Angeles, I was just thinking, like, the babies that I've seen. Imagine my little sister being one of those babies. Imagine one of my sisters, anybody in my family being. And this isn't my reality, but this is the reality for millions of people in Palestine. Mm. I guarantee you any Palestinian you know in the U.S. right now has been affected by this. I mm. guarantee you. And people are not giving a fuck because of why. I'm not here. Damn. 
Pac was a powerful nigga too. Pac knew about all that shit. Why you think they murdered that nigga? It wasn't no rat war. It wasn't because he jumped and he jumped that nigga Orlando. No, 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 no. That's a motherfucking lie. The government killed Pac. The feds had something to do with it. They set that nigga up. The US government silenced him after this speech. Now they tell us that they didn't play much of a role in the slave trade. Is that what they said? Jews were masters in high percentages, says U.S. Census. According to the U.S. Census of 1830, a majority of Southern Jews owned black slaves. In 1890, when slavery was abolished, Two-thirds of all the Jewish families in the United States had slaves. The unholy alliance between Israel and South Africa, the De Beers mine, Oppenheim, our people, our brothers and sisters in South Africa, hundreds of them lose their lives, sometimes thousands in those mines. Miles underground mining diamonds for white Jews. That's why you call yourself Mr. Rubenstein. Aliens are real. When are you gonna set age limits on Congress? You're all way too fucking old. Where's all the money you're sending to Ukraine going? You're clearly laundering it. Show us Damn. Epstein's client list. Um, aliens are real! Yeah, nobody fucking cares. Shit. Damn. Oh, switch One of the greatest huh? proofs is that the Earth is flat. We're spinning at a thousand miles an hour. We're orbiting in the heliocentric model of the Earth. The Sun at 66,600 miles an hour. While doing that, we're chasing the Sun at almost a half a million miles per hour. So we're corkscrewing and spinning through an infinite universe, never to return to where we were before. The Georgia Guidestones had a little hole drilled in the middle stone, and if you look through it, there is the star Polaris, our North Star. How can we be traveling in all these different directions, traveling infinite distances, and that star just always remains in that hole? There's no way it would be in that circle a day, let alone 40 years. But mm. it was there. Somebody blew it up. Whoa, somebody blew it up. The Rothschilds, one of the richest and most powerful families in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were extremely nervous when they were asked what they do for a living. Excuse me, man. Excuse me. She looked like that. Perhaps like it's because missing. of all the blood on their family's hands, or perhaps it's because they were heavily linked to the elite. Mm. They are part of the elites. We all know what that means. Mm -mm -mm. He looked like. I mean, do you honestly believe that? Our government officials, president included, want what's best for the United States. Mm. I believe, honestly, that our officials want what's best for preserving the United States government. Mm. That's what I believe. Wow. I do not believe that the senators and Congress people that we vote for, maybe in their first or second term, they care about their constituents. But mm. once they become career politicians, they care about their career. They wow. don't care about us anymore. The president doesn't care about the people. Mm -hmm. The president cares about preserving the American government. Hey, everybody. Mm. I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube wow. channel for the Thoughts hottest on that. and most compelling Thoughts interviews. On that. That you Thoughts on that. Uh, it's not actually the North Pole. The North Pole's been sailed every year for 30 years. Uh, it's off from the North Pole several hundred miles. This is in a region that's never been sailed before. It's between the magnetic North Pole and the actual North Pole. The waters are reported to be the roughest on the planet, so we're talking 10-story seas. This is not going to be a pleasure cruise by any stretch of the imagination. We'll be breaking ice for eight days to get there. So it's, it's an, not an easy place to get to. That sounds crazy as hell. World's smartest kid thinks that CERN blew the world up in 2008. Maybe that fucking kid is right. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed, only transferred from form to form. But if there are an infinite number of universes, then there's 100% chance that this happened. 
at least maybe in another universe, maybe not ours, then again, there's also an infinite chance that this is our universe. Joe Rogan and the world's smartest kids seem convinced that CERN is the epicenter of world-altering experiments. Maybe they're earlier. looking in the wrong direction. Like the true architects of reality-bending science are just toiling away not in the spotlight of CERN, but in dark corners so secretive, even their existence is a state secret. Quantum reality hacking, consciousness transference, time manipulation, experiments that don't just bend time, but fold it, altering mm. the past through the present, or universal simulation control. Maybe they're manipulating the parameters of our simulated universe mm. tell me what you think in the comments where's the real pandora's box cern or secret shadow labs this shit is crazy bro crazy young will smith knew what was going on do you believe in government conspiracies oh absolutely no i'm serious I no no definitely did. no oh my god i know i heard you did are you serious now oh yeah no i'm very serious you can't oh, tell you can't, you can't tell, you tell you no can't tell. <laughs> okay. i read that you felt that the government was deliberately spraying cold germs in subways, was deliberately mm. trying to make people ill with the AIDS this virus. Is major. This is pretty serious stuff. Yeah. Do you really feel that? Well, that's a good question. Well, I'm with Barbara Walters now. Oh, that's a serious one. Okay, so I gotta, now, because people are gonna chase me after this. Oh, just mm. like they chased Martin Lawrence? People are gonna chase me. Ooh. Um, I believe that it is quite highly possible that that the the AIDS virus is a result of genetic warfare testing. Ooh. By American agents? Absolutely. Wow. Well. By the way, this video is scripted and for entertainment purposes only. Stay weird. Early Will Smith. What is the government so afraid of? The U.S. Navy sets off a 40,000 pound bomb in the Atlantic Ocean, 100 miles from the coast of Florida, saying that it was only a military exercise. However, looking at the footage of the explosion, it definitely didn't seem like a regular military exercise. Hell no. Nah. Furthermore, it's known that there are unknown creatures or aliens living deep in the ocean. So, could it be possible that it wasn't a military exercise, but a cover-up to take out a deadly threat in the ocean? Mm. With this suspicious military exercise, Crazy. many are asking... Many are asking what? All right, so that was scary, creepy, true TikToks, man. Crazy. Some of those was, was kind of left field, and some of those was like, especially like the CERN. You know what I mean? Like, what do y'all think about that? The little genius kid talking about different realities and different universes and infinite possibilities. It's a lot going on. But I'm definitely going to be going through y'all comments. Also, if you made it to the end of this one, drop real one for real in the comments. And like I said, if you got any TikToks that y'all want me to check out, send them to my Instagram. DM me for sure. And hey, till next time, self-love and positivity. Fire Squad, I got you when you know it. A-pop.